Hi, Brent Tech here. We tech is made simple. So today is the 5th of October 2021 in my part of the world. And the 5th of October is the day where Microsoft is officially rolling out and releasing Windows 11 to the general public. Now, Microsoft didn't actually give us a dedicated and specified time zone uh, that Windows 11 would be rolling out. And that's mainly because the new operating system will generally be released in each country, wherever you find yourself in whatever region of the world, as the 5th of October, the day begins in your region of the world. Now, today is the 5th of October for me. So if you have um, or in a time zone where uh, Windows 11 has a, a already rolled out and you are running an incompatible Windows 10 machine like I am on this laptop, which cannot be upgraded to Windows 11 and does not meet those minimum hardware and system requirements, um, a lot of users are now seen and and are being informed of compatibility issues with the Windows 11 operating system. And to check this, you just head over to Windows Update. And if you check for updates and you are not compatible for that upgrade, you will now see on your current Windows 10 machine this message popping up saying, this PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11. Get the details and see if there are things you can do in the PC Health Check app. And then here's the link you click on to get PC Health Check app. And that will take you over to this web page where you can download the PC Health Check app. And once that's installed, you just run the app. And I have featured uh, the PC Health Check app numerous times on this channel. And then you just check now. And as you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. Now, the two main reasons that a lot of Windows 10 machines don't meet the uh, requirements to be upgraded for free to Windows 11 are because of the TPM2 requirements and the processor CPU requirements. And then it gives you all the other green checks, which means those are compatible um, and do meet the system requirements. So a lot of you, it'll be TPM2 and processor or TPM or the processor. Those are the two main um, requirements that are preventing a lot of current Windows 10 machines from, from being upgraded to Windows 11. And then you can just click on device specifications, which will take you back to the same web page where you can see the minimum system requirements needed to be upgraded to Windows 11 uh, from Windows 10. Now, if you do meet the um, minimum system requirements to be upgraded to Windows uh, 11 on your current Windows 10 machine, uh, you will see a message appearing. Instead of this message, you will get a message saying uh, your, uh, your PC is ready. Uh, great news. Your PC meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. And a little sub message will also say specific timing for when it will be offered can vary as we get it ready for you. And I did mention that in an in-depth video I posted yesterday regarding the controlled rollout of Windows 11, if you want to go check that out for yourself more in detail. Now, uh, if you are um, running an incompatible uh, machine like I am on this laptop, you can still upgrade to uh, and update to Windows 11, even if you don't meet those minimum hardware and system requirements. And how we do this is we just head over to uh, download Windows 11 Microsoft software download. This is on the Microsoft web page and I will leave a link to this web page uh, down below if you want to go check this out. And basically you have two options if you are uh, running a machine that cannot be upgraded to Windows 11 and you want to install Windows 11. You can use the media creation tool uh, if you want to perform a, a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11 on a new or used PC use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD. And then before you can download the, uh, the tool here, those are the download link. And before you begin, uh, just be aware um, that obviously you are not compatible. So you will not meet these requirements that are talking about you. And they give you a warning here saying, um, installing Windows uh, 11 uh, media on a PC that does not meet the Windows 11 minimum system requirements 
is not recommended and may result in compatibility issues if you proceed with installing Windows 11 on a PC that does not meet the requirements that PC will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates damages to the PC due to lack of compatibility aren't covered under the, under the manufacturer warranty and I have posted a video on this previously so basically Microsoft is saying you do that at your own risk and then yeah, they just give you um, the installation uh, guide on how to install using the media creation tool. And then another option, you can use, you can download Windows 11 using the disk image, the ISO image. And basically, um, before you begin once again, yeah, make sure you have, and if you're not compatible, as I say, you can still install it using the ISO image. But once again, they warn you here, as mentioned with the media creation tool, that you will be running an unsupported device uh, that obviously which means you don't get any updates uh, feature updates uh, patch tuesday updates and um, bug fixes security fixes and so on and basically you do it at your own risk so if you are on you know your device is not compatible you can use the media creation tool and also a disk image iso image and um, but just be aware that you will be running windows 11 then in an unsupported state so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one